English new wave band Duran Duran was founded in Birmingham in 1978 by bassist John Taylor and keyboardist Nick Rhodes. Before settling on their most renowned lineup in May 1980 by adding guitarist Andy Taylor and lead singer Simon Le Bon, the band had a number of lineup changes before adding drummer Roger Taylor the following year. The current members are Nick Rhodes on keyboards, John Taylor on bass, Roger Taylor on drums, and Simon Le Bon on lead vocals. Many unique and interesting events throughout the career of Duran Duran. In this video we will briefly reveal interesting facts about this band. Have enjoyed this video, so. Check this out. Inspiration Band's Name In 1978, John Taylor and Nick Rhodes started the band Duran Duran, which later became the house band at the Rum Runner nightclub in Birmingham. There were other other nightclubs nearby, with Barbarella's being the biggest. A character from the science fiction film Barbarella served as the inspiration for the band's name. Mr. Duran Duran was a character that Milo O'Shea portrayed. Members of a budding Birmingham post-punk band believed the name of one of the movie's characters, Duran Duran, would make for a great and unique band name while watching that late-night showing of the Jane Fonda sci-fi epic, according to Roger Taylor. Unreleased Album Duran Duran recorded the delayed album Reportage with founding guitarist Andy Taylor before he left the band for the second time in 2006, and they later regrouped to record 2007's Red Carpet Massacre. Later, Nick Rhodes said to Details that Sony did not enjoy the band's album because they heard no potential lead singles because the songs were angrier and more political than the group's normal fare. They started working with Timbaland and Danja as producers, songwriters at their label's request, and Justin Timberlake performed on two of the songs on the ensuing Red Carpet Massacre album. Over the years, there have been speculations that at least nine unpublished reportage songs, with names like Transcendental Mental, 48 Hours Later, and Criminals in the Capital, will be released. Controversial Music Video In spite of the fact that they were formerly MTV's favorite band, Duran Duran almost was kicked off the network in 1997 for their obscene music video for Electric Barbarella, which had to be modified owing to its obscene material. The video was removed from Much Music in Canada and banned from the BBC. It shows Simon Le Bon, Nick Rhodes, and Warren Cucurulo buying and programming a sexy female robot, in a scene that is similar to Cherry 2000. Even while it wasn't quite the overtly sexual video that Girls on Film had been in 1981, which was outlawed on MTV and the BBC at the time, it nevertheless caused some controversy for the band at a less active period in their career. Their name, incidentally, is a reference to the Barbarella villain from the Jane Fonda film, and it appears on the 1997 video. The girl band from the unsuccessful MTV reality show, The Electric Barbarellas, took their name from the song. Medazalin's Inspiration Keyboardist Nick Rhodes exclusively contributed vocals to the 1997 album Medazalin. It is a spoken word performance on the psychedelic title track in this instance, which was motivated by Le Bon's trip to the dentist. After ingesting the intravenous medicine Medazolam, which is said to have completely erased all memories of the surgery experience from his mind, he rejoined his bandmates. One of them said, You're still in Medazolam, buddy, because of his sluggishness, and a strange song was born. Is it true that Princess Diana liked Duran Duran? Princess Diana regularly referred to Duran Duran as her favorite band during their heyday in the 1980s. The band played at her memorial concert in 2007. Simon Lebin said at the time, she was certainly our favorite princess. We are honored that she always referred to Duran Duran as her favorite band. Roger Taylor's Documentary Aaron Barnett a fan of Duran Duran, presented his film Searching for Roger Taylor in 2000. The side project is both a search for the band's drummer who left the band and the music business in 1985 but came back to Duran Duran full-time in 2001 and a look back at the new wave movement of the early 1980s. It does not appear to be commercially available but can be streamed on the director's website. In related work, Drum the Journey of a Lifetime, an hour-long documentary on Simon Le Bon's previous yacht, was narrated by the musician, included a solo song from him, and is the companion work to the book he co-authored. It was released in 1988. Nick Rhodes' School Experience 
when Rhodes was in school, his chemistry teacher would leave the room to place bets on horses for his students. It was not a good environment to be in because people ignited paper darts on Bunsen burners and hurled them around the room. I can't believe the school hasn't burned down. Additionally, I used to be put in charge. Simon Le Bon's Early Career Frontman Simon Le Bon started acting when he was young before breaking huge with Duran Duran. Along with other things, he made his stage debut in Tom Brown's School Days on the West End. He also appeared in a Purcell soap commercial. Those acting skills undoubtedly paid off with all of the group's colorful music videos and a 1986 Sassin commercial that was influenced by Rio. John Taylor Side Project Outside of Duran Duran, bassist John Taylor has contributed to nine studio albums. He joined the well-known quartet The Power Station in the middle of the 1980s, when the Fab Five briefly split off into two side projects with bandmates from Duran Duran, Tony Thompson and Robert Palmer. Their cover of T-Rex's Bang A Gong, Get It On, became a top 10 album and hit. Despite having nine co-writing credits on the band's 1996 reunion album, John Taylor chose not to rejoin them. He collaborated with Taylor, Steve Jones of the Sex Pistols, Duff McKagan, and Matt Sorum of Guns N' Roses, and The Cult, to create one self-titled album with Neurotic Outsiders in 1996. Taylor issued six solo albums, two live albums, multiple eps, and singles between 1996 and 2002. He and Nick Rhodes assembled the 80s New Wave song compilation only after dark in 2006 with the goal of emulating the ambiance of Birmingham, England's renowned Rum Runner Club, where the band first formed. Nick Rhodes and Warren Cucurulo Projects While waiting for Le Bon to come up with vocal melodies and lyrics for the Medazaland recordings, Rhodes and Cucurulo started working on a project called TV Mania, which was later referred to as a triptych opera that predicted the arrival of reality television. The soul, voice, approach in the dance music was samples from the outer limits in a fashion program, with the dance music ranging from atmospheric to almost industrial in tone. Finally, a box set with a single DVD called Bored with Prozac in the Internet was published in 2013 after Rhodes discovered the project in an old drawer. It had been shelved in the late 1990s due to label disinterest. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Have a nice day. And see you.